Welcome to our Advanced Placement Psychology series. In this video, we'll dive into Unit 1, Part 6, focusing on how the process of sensation is related to behavior and mental processes. Understanding sensation is crucial for grasping how our biological systems influence our physical and mental actions. Throughout the video, we'll use engaging graphics to visualize these concepts, ensuring you grasp the definitions and their implications clearly. By the end of this video, you'll have a solid understanding of how sensation relates to behavior and mental processes, setting a strong foundation for your AP Psychology course. Let's begin by defining sensation, the process by which our sensory receptors and nervous system receive and represent stimulus energies from our environment. Psychophysics studies the relationship between physical stimuli and our psychological experiences. This field helps explain how we detect and interpret sensory information. Sensory systems detect stimuli through sensory receptors that respond to specific types of environmental energy. Signal detection theory helps us understand how and when we detect a faint stimulus amid background noise, influenced by factors such as experience, expectations, and motivation. The absolute threshold is the minimum stimulus energy needed to detect a particular stimulus 50% of the time. For example, detecting a candle flame 30 miles away on a clear night. The just noticeable difference, difference threshold, is the minimum difference a person can detect between any two stimuli 50% of the time. Weber's law states that this difference threshold is a constant proportion of the stimulus. Sensory adaptation is the diminished sensitivity to a constant stimulus over time. Examples include getting used to the smell of your own house or the feel of your clothes. Sensory interaction refers to how different senses influence each other, such as how the smell of food can enhance its taste. Synesthesia is a condition where one sensory experience involuntarily triggers another like seeing colors when hearing music. Embodied cognition is the theory that our bodily sensations influence our cognitive preferences and judgments. Physical states can affect our thoughts and feelings. Our sensory systems detect changes in stimuli and adapt to constant stimuli, highlighting the importance of sensory adaptation in everyday life. Subliminal stimuli are below our absolute threshold for conscious awareness, but can still influence our behavior. Priming is the activation of certain associations, often unconsciously, which predisposes our perception, memory, or response. In this section, we explored how the process of sensation is related to behavior and mental processes. We covered sensation, psychophysics, detection of stimuli, absolute indifference thresholds, sensory adaptation, sensory interaction, synesthesia, embodied cognition, and subliminal perception. Understanding these concepts is crucial for grasping how our biological systems influence our physical and mental actions. Thank you for watching. We hope this video has enhanced your understanding of how sensation relates to behavior and mental processes. Stay tuned for more videos in our AP Psychology series.